There's only four bags in here. That's all you get now, man. Rates are going up. Does Gail know about this? She's not gonna be too happy. Aw, oh, hell, Gail should be worried about keeping us happy. What the hell, Clint? We got a good thing going here, man. The economy's rough. Look, you don't like their rates, they'll take their product someplace else. What are you, a stock analyst? Come on, I don't want to be out here doing this more than you do. But you know this is going to cause nothing but problems. This is our decision. All right. Well, good luck selling directly to the buyers. You guys got half a day county locked up. We'll see about that. Thank you kindly, Marie. No problem. I'll be back to take your orders. All right. I've been trying to call you for three days. Julie. What? Here we go again. It looks like I'm going to do all the damn talking. How many times I got to tell you? It's time for you to move on and forget it. I really don't want to be having this conversation. You're the one who invited me here in the first place. I moved all my stuff out of your place. Yeah. I'm sorry, I just, I can't be with you, not when I'm still in love with my husband. Ex-husband. I don't care. What are you going to do when he doesn't take you back? I'll be alone.
A goal without a plan <clears throat> is just a dream. What I've developed is a guaranteed way for you to achieve your goals. So if you join me, my program helps you focus on the behavioral changes that lead to real weight loss. For instance, what force pushes us to eat when we know better? What about you? Have you noticed a connection between eating and your emotions? I tend to eat more when I'm depressed. Yes. Yes, exactly. When we feel down, we seek out comfort food. We bury ourselves in foods like ice cream and chocolate and cake, even though they have zero nutritional value. They seemingly offset those negative feelings. But what makes us feel negative in the first place? What do you think? If I knew, I wouldn't be here. It's OK. You're right. That's why we're here. You don't have to be perfect because there is no such thing as a perfect person. So no matter where we are right now, we can get better and we will. <laughs> so if you're serious this time, if you really want to lose weight, I can show you how to achieve your goals. My patented and proven to work weight loss pill. So press all. I've seen you in a while. It's a small town, Thad. You can see me whenever you want. We'll take two bottles. talk about the supplier's rates. We do. But first, let's take a ride. Grab a shovel. Thank you. 
I don't like digging graves, Gail. They shorted us on our last shipment. I did what had to be done. Make something leave me out of it. Take care of this for me. I'm about here doing this more than you do. This is our decision. Jill's gonna cause nothing but problems. I keep a pack of menthols at home. Every once in a while, I'll smoke one, and it reminds me of you. So why have you been uh, coming to the weight loss clinic? I need to lose weight. Would you stop it? It was never about that. I never really thought about myself before you started working there. It made me feel like there was something wrong with the way I look. I 
Maybe I can count calories and get my body back. Maybe I can take a pill and get my life back. Time is only showing us that I'm not good enough for you, Julie. You're better than you think. No, I'm not. You know, I've done things that I'm having a hard time living with. I don't even know who I am anymore. Hell, I don't even know how to get back to who I was. I just think it would be easier on both of us if you just stayed away from the clinic. Something. Hey, hon. Uh, Dog Buster, he tends to bring birds and squirrels up to the house. <laughs> Dead critters in his mouth. Oh, well, you can't blame him. He thinks he's bringing you a gift. This is the gift he brought this morning. A human ear. Think he'd be able to take us where he found it? <laughs> you just try and keep up with him. Chair. That's my favorite intern. <laughs> Coffee? I already had some. What's the news from the lab? No fingerprints found on file. Nobody's came forward to identify the bodies. The hell else is new. <laughs> I found this in his pocket. idea what it means? Could be a transaction. Could be. But I got a hunch. I'm gonna check out this afternoon. Good work. Bother you, man. Seen anyone specific in these waters like 
in that area there? Well, yeah, that's Thad Sitter's fishing spot. Fishing. Just another busy day at the office. Sir? Dad? Don't you rent on Stockton Lake now? I don't. Seen anything suspicious out there on the water? Suspicious how? How often do you go fishing, Dad? Three or four times a week. Must be nice. Would you mind recommending a fishing spot for me sometime? Sure, Sheriff. What's this all about? Picked up two bodies out on Highway K. Paul Walter's farm. Don't know them? I don't even know who they are. Played me a hunch. GPS coordinates led me smack in the middle of Stockton Lake. Area of water in question happens to be your top secret fishing spot. I guess it's not so top secret after all. I figured maybe you'd seen something, seeing as how it's quiet on that end. It is quiet. That's why I moved out there, but haven't seen anything out of the ordinary. It's not often this county has a double homicide on its hands, so when it does, it's my job to make sure I catch the killer. Hope you understand how committed I am to that. I don't know how committed you are to anything. More committed than you've proven yourself to be. Sorry to hear Julie broke your heart. Afternoon, Sheriff. You're leaving town. It's fine, he doesn't have anything. I'm not even a suspect. He'll make you one, even if he doesn't know it yet. Yeah, you're just acting paranoid. Your ex-wife just broke up with him. Hey, I didn't cause that. I'm not gonna let your little love triangle bring me down. Hey, listen, you killed those men, not me. And you buried the bodies. Inside the bag is a key and a map. It'll take you to a family cabin. You have to leave now. You know, I didn't ask for this. If you wanted to make money just like me, this is the price. What do you want? Let me in. Well, all right then. Oh, 
I know, Mary. I know. Okay, babe. Okay. Oh, you look like you're doing all right. I mean, since last time I saw you. How's it, uh, how's it been? I don't know. You look like you're doing well. I'm sure this trailer home is a real chick magnet. <sighs> what the hell are you doing here, Gail? Well, I've got a job for you. Well, I'm not sure I'm interested. Why do you need me? I hear you're pretty good at cleaning up your own problems. The sheriff's watching me too close. I don't need any more suspicion my way. Who's the target? Thad. Thinks he's good, but he doesn't have what it takes. Oh. Oh, I like that. Survival of the fittest. What's he got, like a heart of gold or something? Down, Maddie. Down, baby. Yeah, that's exactly his problem. Where can I find him? In the perfect place to take him out. When I first started, I was stuck in a cycle of fluctuating weight. So I resolved to get fit and lose weight for good. I had to create ready-to-go positive thoughts. You have to be ready to encounter the candy dish at work or the fried items on the menu. So I want to hear what you'll tell yourself when you find yourself in a tempting situation. Um, have you seen Thad? He's on vacation. That's all he said? It's really not of my business. What are you doing? Why are you watching me? Don't you know that your lives are in danger? When you've tried but not survived, we're watching an entire hour of the new Uncle Gregory Horror Hour has made mice. to see you again, Julie. Um, do you have a moment to talk? Of course. What brings you here? I think I need to file a missing persons report. Really? On who? Thad? <sighs> what makes you suspect that? His boss said he was on vacation, and then I saw his mom at the grocery store, and she didn't know anything about it. And Maybe um, he doesn't want you to know where he went. You're divorced, after all. I'm sorry.
been the way to get you into them. Does that create extra pressure for you to convince me about that? About Gail Payne. Enough. Next time you should ask for more money. Get you a little better rug there. That one looks ridiculous. I might be hiding under this rug, but at least I'll still be alive. <laughs>
Ah, uh, come in. Hope that's all right. Thank you, Julie. Looks wonderful. But for official purposes, I just need to ask you a few questions regarding Dad, and then I'll leave. Like what? I just need to fill out this paperwork and file it for the county. Paperwork? A few boxes and check marks, that's all. You don't want to find him? I can't begin a search until the proper paperwork is filed. Lots of red tape, you know how these things are. But this is bad, we have to begin now. Thing is, it's not illegal to go missing. People do it all the time. For all sorts of reasons. You have to have something. But you have nothing. <laughs> this is all my fault because you hate me. I don't hate you. Please, didn't you have to find him? I don't hate you at all. I still love you. If you still love me, then you would find that. Doesn't work like that, baby. Gotta stay down and rest. Who are you? You stumbled into my motel office and collapsed. Where's my stuff? Took out enough to cover your room. What's that for you? Nothing. You can stay here until you're healthy enough. Doesn't like I've got much of a choice. Say it's been 72 hours, and the police have no leads. Is that right? I mean, that's what they keep telling me. They don't care about finding him. Dad's out there somewhere, but they can't explain anything. Julie broke up with the sheriff last week, so he's not too keen on finding him, if you know what I mean. You can't exhaust all your options. Can you find my husband? You mean your ex-husband, right? Yes. Sorry. Well, what if he doesn't want to be found? Why does everybody keep on saying that? I mean, what if he disappeared for some reason and he wants to stay hidden? That doesn't sound like Thad. No, I've known Thad for years. He's one of those mommy types. He could never leave home. Well, you never can tell what a person will do when they're pushed to the limit. He's never even left Missouri, for Christ's sake. 
Where's your work? At a weight loss clinic. Julie's been stalking him there. I only went there because I'm fat. Okay, look, I'm gonna need everything, all right? Pictures, records, I wanna know what kind of underwear Thad wears. So you'll take the case? I've already started. Thank you. Now you, what do you say you and I go get a slice of pizza together? I told you I wanted to know everything. I told you everything that I know. Except that you and Thad were having financial troubles. Adoption agencies, fertility clinics, these things aren't free. I get it. Thad blamed himself for the fertility treatments not working. And every time one of our friends got pregnant, it just got worse. But you were going to adopt. We didn't have the money. That's why I thought I took a second job. At the weight loss clinic. Just ever since I was little, this is what I wanted. Family, husband, daughter, son, just children, babies. Just something to pour my life into, you know? Yeah. When you just ate too many calories and your failure brings you down, another commitment broken, you feel like the fattest person in town. Are you gonna quit? Are you gonna fall? It's not too late to heed the call. The race isn't over. You can still win. You're gonna make it one day healthy and thin. The Dieter's Poem. I wrote that. Can I help you? Yeah, well, can you tell me about this wig? Oh, wow. I haven't seen this model in years. Do you sell these? No. This is an imported European deluxe model, made from the finest, most luxurious donkey hair. Donkey hair? Ah, truly resplendent. These animals have been bred for centuries to obtain the perfect quality for their hair. Oh. 
Well, where would someone go to find one of these in this area? No. You have to go to Eastern Europe to get one, most likely. But I have sold a few of these in the past. Let me look. There's a serial number on the back of the tag. Let me see. This. Careful, that's a little gooey. Ah, yes. Let, let me check my files. Very good. Now you can see. <clears throat> I found the original buyer of the wig. It was sold to a Michael Hurt. Thank you very much. Ah, you uh, know where to find me if you're ever looking for any help on top. Sorry for the intrusion, Gail. I figure maybe it's time we had a talk. Is he dead? You don't seem too concerned at the possibility. Dead is fine with me. About time you admitted it. If I ever see that again, you're done. Your whole operation here will be shut down. You've made a lot of money off of me. And you won't be able to pay me enough to turn a blind eye anymore, so it better be as you say. Because if I see that again... You won't. I promise. Hi. Yeah, I'm looking for Michael Hurt. That's his. Do you know him? Not really. He rents that from us. Thanks. I know who you are, so you don't need to introduce yourself. Well, I know what I'm doing here. What are you doing? Looking for Thad, just like you. Well, where's Michael Hurt? I remember when he had the best hair in the world, but when he lost it, he just couldn't take it. I just know he'd rather be dead than without his hairpiece. Well, so if you think he's dead, who do you think killed him? Whatever you're getting paid to find Thad, I'll double your pay. I'm not taking on any new clients now, especially when I know when I find them, you'll just kill them. Ah! 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 You're just a pseudo health nut wacko. Just because you're able to trick those people doesn't mean you got me fooled. Oh, shut up, fatty. Oh! <laughs> <laughs>
almonds in your smoothie? You gotta be careful. Almonds, while very healthy, have a lot of phytic acid. What are you doing? Put the gun down. Tell me where that is. I thought you knew. If I knew, he'd be dead. Don't say that. <laughs> You're both coming with me. I want my money and to get the hell out of this town. But I shouldn't complain. Fat, fat, fatties everywhere you look. <gasps> Which means fat stacks for me. I might as well kill you two to draw that out of hiding. Let's go. Move. She did the right thing. She was gonna kill us. scarf go? I think I left it in the field. It's evidence. I'm aware it's evidence, Brenda. Thank you. 
if her weight pulled it off my neck and I didn't notice. How could you not notice? Where is she? I don't know. Where'd we leave her? Right there, right? I'll find her. Where? I'm over this. Julie? Julie, what are you doing? You can do whatever you want. I am not changing that flat. I'm going to come back and give you a million dollars. That would be mighty fair of you. Excuse me, ma'am. Are you OK? I need to use your bathroom. It's locked. Hands up. Uh, nice okay. and easy. Yeah. It's about time. Uh, there's no airflow in there. Uh, uh. Nice and easy. Oh, I'm starving. What's your name? Jake Leibig. I'm a private investigator. Show me your license. Oh. Easy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. 
I know who you are. And I know what you're doing. I don't like it. Yeah, well, I'm just doing my job. Time for you to leave anyway. Your little case is over, detective. Why's that? Dad's dead. I could found his body this morning. You're not gonna see much. Looks like the vultures got to him. Vultures did this. I've seen worse, but not in a long time. What'd you get off the body? The victim's wallet and car keys. They're in lockup with the sheriff. Who'd they belong to? Thad Sitter. Hmm. Well, how long before we have a definitive match on the ID? We should know within a couple of days. Hmm. It's not at the trailer. Where is it? That's no, okay. Thank you. Hey, listen, man. Let me tell you something. When you figure out life's meaningless, this whole world don't seem so cruel. And maybe one day you'll even start enjoying yourself. Just try to keep it down. Are you kidding? I can't control these two freaks. Well, looky who I found. Look, I don't know who you are, okay, but I don't want any trouble. Your ex-wife hired me to find you. Julie? Yeah. But now I don't know who wants you worse, her or Gail Benson. Gail? Does she know where I am? Not yet. But if you don't want me to tell her where you are, 
it's gonna cost you. You can have the money. It's probably nothing but trouble. Whoa. Huh? I saw you out there. Huh? I don't want any trouble here. Just hang in there, okay? We'll be at the hospital in about 10 minutes. I've had a heart attack before. Just hurry. I'm hurrying. Sad, I need to talk to you about Julie. Was she okay? Gail tried to kill her, too. What? Why? <laughs> Detective. You're gonna be okay. If you need me, then just call. Something important to tell you. I was wondering when I was going to hear from you. We found his body. Whose? Fad. <laughs> We're going to find out who did this to him. We already know who did this. Gail is the suspect. If it wasn't Gail, then who? What can I tell you? I'm so sorry for your loss. And well. I want you to know that I still love you. I have to go.
Gail? Mm -hmm. I thought you were dead. What are you doing here? I came to kill Gail. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. God, it's gone my mind. Yeah, go. There has to be a towel around here somewhere. No, on top of the cat. In the box. You shot me. Okay, it's okay. Look at me. Look at me. Shh. You're as beautiful as the day I married you. Thank you.